cheese on toast. How do you do it? Let's go to Nisha to find out. I feel like this is kind of storytelling corner now. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> we love your stories. <laughs> it's like, how can you talk about cheese on toast for six minutes? But I can. Because this is an Indian cheese on toast. This is a really authentic thing that Indian diaspora eats. So Indians that have moved out of India love this dish. This yeah. is how you pimp your cheese and on you toast. And you serve this in your restaurant, don't you? We do. Yeah. And it's a really big seller. It's one of those dishes that made me want to open a restaurant, actually, crazily enough, because yeah. it's such a simple twist to such an easy dish, and it's absolutely addictive. So, the way that Indians pimp English staples is by <laughs> adding three ingredients. Coriander, mm. red onion, mm. green chilli. Okay. Not for heat, that's just for that chlorophyll freshness. Mm -hmm. So you get lovely, as mature as your kind of taste buds can take, cheddar. And in we go with those three sort of cardinal ingredients. So, red onion, and this is a great way of pimping an omelette or scrambled eggs, that's what we do when we kind of crave that spice hit. Red onion, chilli, coriander. We use both kinds of coriander, we use coriander powder. Yeah. Because that's almost like a herb. My mouth is actually watering too. <laughs> it's so bad. Um, it's very herby, feminine, floral. So it's not punchy at all. Quite a bit of that. And coriander leaf for that freshness. You can totally leave the coriander leaf out if you have that gene that says no. And I get that. Well, I don't, but no. I do. Kind of. <laughs> I just find coriander a bit perfumey. You are right. Many people sit things yeah. that think it tastes like soap. Yeah. And I, yeah, that's a genetic thing. So we can only be so disdainful of that. I, I hear you. Yeah. And it's, you can totally leave it out. Um, so you mix that together a little bit. We don't need salt. I was going to put salt in. That's the Indian in me. Um, and then you put it on. So white bloomer bread. Toast it on both sides just a little bit. Less on one side. And it is onto that side that you're going to put your cheese. Now, what's so interesting about this kind of white bread is in India, we don't have this. This We don't have a concept of this. We never did. When I was, you know, in India, 1970s, the, these pitiful attempts at white bread, it was, it was dreadful because what we don't believe in doing is taking any kind of nutrition out of your grains. Yeah. So everything is those chapatis, it's wholemeal. So the name for white bread in India is pa ruti, which means a flatbread, a chapati, but that's been trodden down by the feet Part is feet, mm -hmm. as my tanned leg. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. So what they used to do is they used to tread the grain down to get most of the husks off, and then they try and make try and this make. kind of white bread. But it bread. wasn't the kind of white bread we have. Not at all. Not at all. Um, because you know what? It doesn't last as well either. So in the heat and the humidity of India, white bread, you turn your back, and it it's is. kind of crawling off <laughs> <laughs> and it's no. into its own you ecosystem. Don't, you don't butter your toast before you put your cheese on. Now, there's no need, because there's so much fat in the cheese. So that, you know, there's so much natural sort of oil in the cheese that that will just seep into the bread anyway. So it's quite a beautiful moisture dish. So as much as you like, and then that goes under the grill as simple as that. So quite a low grill in a way, because otherwise you'd end up burning the bread around the edges. And then you end up with, can I show you? You end up with this. And there's something about cheese on toast when you see it. We you taste need to eat it. Please do, please do, because I will just continue to talk as you're quite used to that. <laughs> Can you taste those spices coming through at all, mm. the coriander? It's just a little graze, isn't it, of a different kind of flavour. I think it's completely addictive. Love it. And you get that sweet Delicious. pop from the onion. I, think I, like, onion I, say, I like the little bit, there's a bit of crunch with the onion as well. And you get the crunch of the onion as well, yeah. It's like the ultimate kind of pasty hit. I'm going to make a little I'm beetroot. I'm not saying much because I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. I'm just, I'm I'm just going to leave the building now, Eamon. Just, no, it's lovely. <laughs> I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's really lovely. I'm really glad. It's actually more subtle than I thought it would be. Really? Yeah. Because I think, is this going to overpower the no. cheese? It doesn't. It's delicious. I just don't... And I think that's what's sweet about the Indians, is we don't believe in taking something English and overpowering it. It's just give us our spice hit. So my mother would come back from surgery. She was a doctor. Come back from surgery, grab some of this for lunch to get a spice hit and then go back. <laughs> right. Beetroot pickle. Really simple. I'm going to introduce you to some pickling ingredients. If you ever want to make an Indian pickle, mm. you start with oil in a pan, mustard seed, which you fry until it pops. Oh, yeah. Do you remember last week yeah. you were talking about whether the seeds oh. pop or not? These pop, and then you need to stand back. So we fry our mustard seeds, and then we go in with fenugreek seeds. So if you ever want to make a pickle, go out, buy mustard seeds and fenugreek seeds, and you fry, you've got to wait for the mustard seeds to pop, technically, before you go in with the fenugreek. Wait for them to brown beautifully. 
And the great thing about those particular flavours, those particular seeds, is they are so potent and so haunting that they continue to give their flavour over days. So they're beginning to pop. I'm then going to go in with, before I do that, I'm going to go in with a dry red chilli. Whenever in India you cook with mustard seeds, I'm such an anorak on this, you add a dry red chilli. Those are two ingredients that are just sisters in the Indian mm. kitchen. So if you cook with mustard seeds, dry red chilli. If you yeah. cook with nigella seeds, green chilli. Why don't you just dress your cheese on toast with the tomato or the, the beetroot that you've put here? Why don't we just dress that so put you it can on dip? Why don't I put the, the beetroot on top of the cheese on yeah. toast? Yeah. I'll tell you why, because that would completely... So if you taste that pickle, there's an acid in there because I'm going to put lemon in. So I put my seeds in and it just sits over all of those flavours. So it's quite a different flavour. What you should really do... But is I'm that what you've up. just done? That's right. Not... Yeah, you're enjoying yeah. that. Oh, <laughs> steady. I've just done it, yeah. <laughs> really? Do you know what? That's what's so lovely is that I put there a beautiful tomato salad as well into this lemon and salt and then that's done. Mm. Um, What's so great about putting it on the side, Eamon, same with the tomato salad, is you can then have little permutations and combinations of flavour yeah. So yeah. for your next mouthful. But there is something, as you said, Ruth, it's the delicacy of that cheese on toast. It's interesting, but it's delicate. And so the more you add on top of that... Flavour's lovely. I've got to do... do you've got about 20 seconds. I've got 20 seconds. I could do a whole curry in 20 <laughs> seconds. But OK, it's a, there's your It's an elaborate pickle. but yet simple it um, is. dish. Very simple tomato salad. To make it Indian, go out and get something called chaat masala. Yeah. Chaat masala you sprinkle on the top. So just have a little try of that. A little bit of green chilli and lime juice and salt. That's what makes something Indian. It is beautiful. I love, I love that beetroot pickle because it's not sharp. It's really gentle. All gorgeous, Nisha, really? as always. And um, all the details of Nisha's recipe and um, some from our other this morning, Chef. Sharp well. and beautiful. On